हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन फंगल बायोपेस्टिसाइड्स इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट बैक्टीरियल बायोपेस्टिसाइड इन विच वी हैड स्टडीड इन डिटेल अबाउट बैसलस रुंजनिसिस एज बायोपेस्टिसाइड इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर लेट अ स्टडी अबाउट फंगल बायोपेस्टिसाइड्स today let us study about fungal biopesticides so as we all know pesticides or the substance or the preparation which are involved in destroying or killing the pests the pests or the one which cause diseases in plants we are going to talk about the plants so these are certain pathogens or the organisms which causes diseases in the plants that can be either certain microorganisms such as bacteria fungi or certain actinomycetes or even viruses or certain um certain nematodes or certain algae or certain protozoa which are causing disease in the plants they can be called as pathogens and at the same time there are certain insects or nematodes which are involved in causing the diseases in the plants they are also called as pests the substance or the preparations which destroy these pests are called as pesticides and the product of certain living organism or a living organism itself or the genes which are responsible for killing the pest which are which has been which has been incorporated in or integrated inside the genome of the plant once it express and produces various proteins to destroy the pest even there can be called as pesticides so here in this particular video lecture we are going to concentrate on fungal biopesticide so here this what are these fungal biopesticide it's a preparation made up of a uh, fungal isolates or the product of fungal isolates which are used to kill the pest they are called as fungal pesticides so how actually they destroy the pest it can be either by the process of parasitism that is they get parasitized inside the host on that is on the on the pest they get parasitized on the pest and kill them or they become an a hyper parasite on a parasite a parasite if it is killing the or destroying the plant they are called as parasite if a parasite become a parasite on a parasite then it is called as hyper parasite by the process of hyper parasitism the or can also kills the pest or by the process of antibiosis that is by producing various hydrolytic enzymes or by producing various toxin substance the the pest or destroyed that particular process is called as antibiosis competition by by competing for the same limiting factor and by growing vigorously by utilizing all the the nutrients or whatever the limiting factors are present they utilizes very fast and they grow and develop so that is by the process of competition also they can kill the pest so these are some of the method in which the fungal biopesticide work to kill the pest there are many fungi which has an ability to infect insect pest they are known as entomophilic fungi that is the fungi which grows on or inside the inside an insect they are called as entomophilic fungi these or the fungi belongs to the class especially chytridiomycetes oomycetes and also they belongs to the subdivision zygomycotina ascomycotina and deuteromycotina so these are some of the examples of entomophilic fungi dominant group of fungi which are involved in killing the insect pest which are 
Bavaria bassi and Bavaria species, many species of Bavaria, Metarhizium species, Verticillum species, Rutusilla species, Entomophaga species. Entomophaga grayli is one of the species of Entomophaga where it gets parasitized in grasshoppers especially. Now, and also we have one more important other fungal biopesticides called as trichoderma species. This is one of a, a dominant group of fungi or uh, which has a broad spectrum of activity which has an ability to kill various pathogen by various method by high mycoparasitism or by producing various uh, antibiotics or by producing various toxin substance or by producing various enzymes or by creating an oxidative stress or by uh, creating a situation so that the plant themselves gets triggered and produces various uh, pathogenesis related proteins that is PR proteins they produce uh, so that the attack of the pathogen is being controlled. So in this particular video lecture we are going to study each one of this in detail. And we are going to concentrate on Trichoderma species, which is the one which we can find in the syllabus. Now, let us study about one of an important biopesticide, fungal biopesticide, which has been extensively used to control various insect pests. That's called as Bavaria bassiana. Bavaria bassiana is one of a soil, uh, one of a fungi which belongs to the subdivision Deuteromycotina. It's an imperfect fungi which reproduce only by the process of asexual method, that is by the formation of conidia. This Bavaria bassiana causes get parasitized in an insect larvae as well as on the insect and cause a disease known as white muscadine disease in insects. You can find the images towards the right side of this particular slide where you could find some of the insects as well as the larvae which has been infected by the fungi and you can find the color all over the surface of this particular insects which is whitish in color because of that symptom it's called as white muscadine disease in insect. It's due to Bavaria bassiana. Where this uh, spores which have been produced by this Bavaria bassiana, once it come in contact with the cuticle or on the insect of the susceptible insect, they germinate. You can see concentrate on the image which I have put at the middle where you have seen the life cycle of this particular fungus uh, where the spore if it comes in contact with the cuticle of an insect or the skin of an insect it germinates germinates and penetrate inside the insect cuticle and later later it enters into the inner body of the host here the fungi proliferates or they grow throughout the insects body once they enter inside they grow inside the in entire insect body at the same time they produce toxins and also they try to utilize or absorb the nutrients present in the cells each and every cells of an insect once they absorb all the nutrition uh, present in an insect eventually at the same time the insect is being killed where you can see the uh, mm, the larvae, uh, the cadaver of the larvae you can find at the right side where you can find the entire larvae would have been uh, surrounded uh, over by this particular mycelium. Once the larvae die, once the larvae die, the fungi because of the lack of nutrition they go into the reproductive phase where during the process of reproduction, they produce conidiophore. This conidiophores emerges out of the uh, insect, emerges out to the exterior region of an insect, come out through the cuticle of an insect and start to produce conidiophore. And the conidiophore produces uh, 
conidia and these conidia once it is dispersed through the wind and once it lands on the suitable uh, insect again it start germinating and the cycle can continue so this particular bavaria bassiana can control various insects pest such as beetles aphids leaf hoppers plant hoppers and also many varieties of lepidopteran larvae corn borer pine caterpillar peach hotworm and many other borers hence because of this property of getting parasitized inside the uh, inside the uh, larvae or on the insects uh, such property has been utilized or exploited for the production of bio pesticide to kill various pests so these are some of the commercial product based on entomophilic fungi so this is uh, the uh, uh, products commercial products which have been produced from some of the entomophilic fungi the fungi which infects the insects so such characteristic feature of a uh, fungi has been extensively used to control various pest so you can see the various uh, 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 fungi which we can use uh, uh, extensively used one are bavaria bassiana as well as hirsutilla metarhizium species verticillum species mycothesium species these are the fungi which has been extensively used in the production of various uh, pesticides which has been commercially named in different ways as it has been shown in this particular table and also you can see bavaria bassiana which has been used widely on insects as well as on mites likewise sutilla species on spider and likewise metarhizium species on beetles caterpillars grasshoppers termites etc even verticillium species which we can use it on various bugs and sucking insects and uh, mycothesium species especially on uh, nematodes so these are some of the commercially available products which are found to be active on wide range of insects so this is the source from uh, uh, a journal called as agronomy you can also go through this particular paper for uh, the detail uh, uh, details about this entomophilic fungi and uh, their production next coming to the trichoderma as biopesticides so this is an important uh, uh, question for the point of examination trichoderma as biopesticides so here now let us study about what are what is this trichoderma how what is the structure of this trichoderma what is the mode of action of trichoderma and the different products of trichoderma and how it could be applied onto the field as we all know this trichoderma is one of the soil fungi and also would have isolated in our lab and also would have seen it under the microscope also and this is one of a very good example of antagonistic fungi and also very good bio pesticide has broad spectrum of activity various on various pathogens and uh, this is one of a fungi which belongs to the subdivision uh, deuteromycotina they are uh, they have been placed under subdivision Deuteromycotina. This particular uh, species or the genus was first described by Christian Hendrik Persoon in 1794. Currently, there are around 89 accepted species in the genus Trichoderma. They are saprophytic soil fungi and also this trichoderma has also been reported as an endophytic fungi in few plants we endophytes or the group of fungi which are found inside the plant they are called as endophyte it can be found as a saprophytic in soil as and also in some of the plants it has been various investigators have reported that trichoderma species is also found as a 
endophyte in some of the plants then how actually these trichoderma colonies you can culture this trichoderma in vitro condition you can use any of the fungal media which uh, contain large amount of uh, uh, starch uh, we can uh, and sugar uh, any of PDA or SDA or CDA or corn meal dextrose agar any of this uh, media can be used for the process of cultivation and there is a special media even for trichoderma for the process of isolation that's called as trichoderma media where uh, the ingredients are almost the same only thing is we are going to use few antibiotics uh, which suppress the growth of and also some of the antifungals which suppress the growth of other fungi as well as some of the uh, and also the bacteria so that's the difference in the, its ingredients or else it's require it require per, uh, starch as well as the dextrose is one of the important ingredient in the media and also obviously the ph slightly acidic that is 6.5 ph is required for the growth of the uh, trichoderma species and uh, the if you see the colonies of this trichoderma the tri colony morphology is on uh, corn meal agar the sporulation is quite slow where you could find them uh, which is whitish flocos and uh, shades of green or yellow and uh, as the as it ages if the nutrients in the particular media vanishes you could see the sporulations at that particular moment the trichoderma colony on the abaxial surface it is green and reverse it is light that's the colony morphology and it is remember they are flocos the colony morphology is flocos that is cottony or flocos colonies you can call and also this trichoderma species also has an ability of producing certain uh, pigments yellow uh, uh, colored pigments they can produce and uh, uh, some exudate it produce maybe the secondary metabolites it produces that is the antibiotics it produces or certain enzymes they produce and also there are many reports which suggest that trichoderma species also has an ability of producing sidrophores so reverse if you see the reverse that is at the back side of this particular colony the petriplate they can find the yellow exudate yellow pigment can be secreted into the agar especially on pda this is the colony morphology so once again i will repeat this is one of a saprophytic as well as endophytic fungi and uh, uh, this belongs to the subdivision retromycotina imperfect fungi the it can grow in any of the fungal media cda pda mrba corn meal dextrose agar sabarods dextrose agar etc and the colony morphology initially they are white flocos colonies and reverse they are colorless as it age the colony the color of the colony or at the back side the reverse you can find yellowish pigment or certain secondary metabolites which has been exudated through this mycelium hence the uh, you can see the pigment uh, change in the coloration of the agar in the reverse side of the petriplate coming to the microscopic characteristics if you observe this trichoderma under the microscope how actually the colony morphology it was green reverse it was colorless sometime yellow because of the production of exudate and another thing which we have to note down here is it grows very rapidly when compared to that of any other fungi even rhizopus grows rapidly uh, apart from that trichoderma also grows very rapidly this thing is called as competition it competes for the same limiting factors and utilizes all the limiting factors uh, food nutri food or the nutrition or the water or the uh, the oxygen or whatever it is from the uh, surrounding rapidly and grows vigorously so and uh, it forms flocos aerial mycelium 
and this is the colony morphology and if you see how actually we can identify under the microscope they are uh, they produces mycelium which are septate highly branched highly branched mycelium and they produces conidia asexual spores called as conidia they produce they are one celled green in color it is subglobose you can see the images also towards the right subglobose ellipsoidal rough or smooth rough or smooth indicates the exine ornamentation if it has conidiophore is branched conidiophore or the structures which produces conidia they are branched and in uh, in regular remember it is in regular intervals in whorls the branches of conidiophores are regular at regular intervals in whorls and also you could find the conidia at the terminal region of the conidiophores that is the branches of the conidiophore produces phyllides phyllides you can find the phyllides at the terminal region of the branch these phyllides phyllides which has which has two to three verticels verticels at the terminal region you can find the finger like projections those are called as verticels the verticels or ampullae form the structure it's called as ampullae form what is the meaning of ampullae form ampule if you would have seen certain ampules for example lyophilized culture you would have seen the ampule the glass bottles or the distilled water for the process of injection you would have seen that the shape of that particular bottle at the tip it's called as ampullae form ampule like ampullae form so the microscopic characteristics are like this they are the mycelium or the hyphae is branched septate and it produces the conidiophores where the conidiophores are also branched and they are produced at regular intervals in whorls and the it also produces a branches uh, called as phyllides phyllides at its terminal region they produces verticels verticels may range from 2 to 3 and at the terminal and this verticels are ampulliform and at the terminal region of this ampulliform verticels you can find the cluster of the conidia where this conidia is one cell made up of a single cell it is green or brown subglobose ellipsoidal rough or smooth in its ornamentation so this is about the microscopic characteristic feature of trichoderma so coming to the mechanism of action of trichoderma how actually it acts on the pest it can be either a direct method or by indirect method now let us study about the direct method of action of the trichoderma on the pest as we all know it's by the process of antibiosis antibiosis is the process by which the antibiotics or toxins are produced by the trichoderma the trichoderma produces various antibiotics such as trichothecin viridin trichodermin trichoderminol arizianin arizinolide which gives a direct effect on other organism it can target a particular pest and destroy them hyperparasitism that is it will become a parasite on a parasite where there are certain species of trichoderma say for example trichoderma lignosum trichoderma viridae trichoderma harrisianum which become a parasite on a rhizocotania solani rhizocotania solani is one of a parasite and cause disease in some plants so this trichoderma become a parasite on such parasite such process is called as hyperparasitism where this trichoderma the hyphae of the trichoderma either grow along with the host hyphae or coil around it and secretes different lytic enzymes this trichoderma gets coiled over the 
rhizocutaneous solani or any other pathogen and produces certain lytic enzyme the lytic enzymes are an enzymes which has an ability of light lysis lysing or the uh, lysing or the li which are involved in the lysis of the cell it could be uh, cutinase gluconase pectinase etc which are involved in the process of mycoparasitism where this trichoderma produces lytic enzyme and destroy the cell wall of the parasite and involved in the process of mycoparasitism at the same moment even this trichoderma has an ability of utilizing the nutrient present on the parasite so by hyperparasitism the trichoderma various species of trichoderma has an ability of killing the pests another method of action to kill the pest is by the process of competition where this trichoderma species compete for the same limiting factor and grows vigorously when compared to that of a, the other fungi say for example uh, the interactions between the trichoderma harrisianum uh, acting against fusarium oxysporum fusarium roseum fusarium solani phytophthora and sclerotium where trichoderma competes with them and grows vigorously and uh, uh, and the other pathogen uh, may not survive because of lack of nutrition so these are the different mechanism through which the trichoderma kills the pest by producing various toxins or by the process of hyperparasitism or by the process of competitions so how actually this hyperparasitism or how actually this trichoderma parasitize on a parasite what actually happen how actually destroy a parasite by becoming a parasite trichoderma species please observe the image which i have put towards the right side trichoderma species recognizes a plant pathogenic fungi by producing a small molecules that are released by the pathogen you can see the images towards the right you can see certain small molecules so you can see that light colored one is our trichoderma dark colored uh, violet one is a parasite where the trichoderma should kill that particular parasite how actually it happen trichoderma produces certain enzymes called as protease the trichoderma initially produces certain enzymes called as protease this this protease because of the action of this protease secreted by the trichoderma the pathogen or a parasite pathogen produces certain small molecules such as peptides the pro because of the activity of the protease produced by trichoderma on a pathogen small molecules are released small molecules or peptides protease because it's a protease activity certain peptide molecules are released this small molecules are the one which actually are responsible to recognize the pathogen so how actually it happen because of the production of such small molecules or peptides on the surface on the surface of the trichoderma species there are certain receptors you can see the elaborated uh, gene regulations which or the signaling mechanism how actually it happens on the cell wall of the trichoderma there are certain receptors that is the receptor such as gpr1 that is g protein coupled receptor gpr g protein coupled receptor or nitrogen sensing receptors these two receptors gets gets this particular uh, signaling molecules 
because they go and bind onto the surface of this receptor molecules this create an create a perception for the process of gene regulations so what actually happen because of the triggering of G of or because of the binding of this particular small molecules on the receptors there are certain series of of uh, the uh, signaling cascade which are which are present on the cell wall of the trichoderma which comprises of g protein and mitogen activated protein kinase there are series of signaling cascades which are present to trigger the gene regulation of tf tf is transcription factors for the process of the gene regulation for the production of various secondary metabolites let us study later now because of the production of protease enzyme by the trichoderma the pathogen is producing certain peptide and small molecules these small molecules binds onto the receptors gpr1 or nitrogen sensing receptors these because of this binding this series of uh, signaling cascades that is g protein and mitogen activated protein kinase mapks which may be uh, which activates the transcription factors that is tfs these factors then enhance the constructive expression of the genes that encodes the enzyme for the biosynthesis of secondary metabolite for cell wall lysis once the transcription factor has been triggered the it or in the, it is involved in the uh, expression of the genes genes which are responsible for the production of various lytic enzymes that is cell wall hydrolase and secondary metabolites are released due to the gene expressions gene expressions uh, with the genes which are involved in the production of cell wall hydrolase that is chitinase all those beta galactosidase uh, all these enzymes have been released because of the transcription so once these enzymes or the secondary metabolites the secondary metabolites can be even the antibiotic or any of the toxic substance can be released because of the gene expression and this enzymes act on the pathogen and lyse the the pathogen this is how it happen and um, at the same time and at the same time the the lectins from the pathogenic fungi and the protein harboring cellulose binding modules from the hyphae of the trichoderma species may collaborate in the attachment of the predator to the prey that is the lectins which are produced by the pathogenic fungi and the proteins harboring cellulose binding Uh, substances may also help in the attachment of this trichoderma on to the uh, pathogen and at the same time the plant pathogenic prey responds by forming secondary metabolites and re reactive oxygen species that elicit a stress response and detoxification in trichoderma species so this is how the trichoderma species acts on the on the uh, pathogen and destroy either by producing various enzymes or the toxic substance and also by the process of uh, uh, coiling around the uh, the pathogen by causing the stress response the uh, trichoderma species kills the pathogen
so now coming to the indirect mechanism of action of trichoderma so uh, here in this method they induces resistance resistance towards the pest that is this trichoderma species induces resistance to the plant towards that of the pest that's called as induced resistance how actually this happen inoculation of this trichoderma that is antagonistic trichoderma triggers the expression of a set of genes which encode for pathogenesis related proteins such as chitinase beta 13 glucanase which are found to be anti fungal so this trichoderma once it is applied onto the plants they encode for or for the process of uh, the production of pr proteins that is that is the pr proteins or the one pathogenesis related proteins or the one which uh, which has an ability of uh, destroying the pest by producing various enzymes or producing various toxins so this pr proteins such as chitinase beta 13 glucanase or the enzyme which directly act on the cell wall of the pathogen which is infecting the plant so the plant gets triggered the genes of the plants gets triggered so that they can produce uh, enzymes such as chitinase and beta 13 glucanase which is found to be anti fungal and at the same time they also triggers the plants to produce phytoalexins phytoalexins are the substances which are produced by the or synthesized by the host plant which majorly plays a major role in destroying the pathogens so the trichoderma and also uh, various literatures are available that there are certain uh, genes which are involved in uh, the production of chitinase enzyme because of integration of such genes from trichoderma into the plant may also uh helps in the process of the production of uh, the pr proteins which helps as a anti fungal so the indirect method of action is by induced rotation sorry induced resistance that is the uh, trichoderma species triggers the expression of the genes which are responsible for pathogenesis related proteins so that this proteins uh, once it has been uh, produced they are found to be anti fungal and at the same time the trichoderma triggers the plants to produce or synthesize phytoalexins which play a major role in destroying the pathogen this is indirect method because the plants are producing these proteins or enzymes uh, to kill the pathogen because the trichoderma is triggering so it is indirect method of action to summarize how actually this tr trichoderma species uh is been involved in controlling the pest this is one of the research paper from the science direct uh so the this particular uh, image or uh, the diagrammatic representation uh shows the biological mechanism exerted by this trichoderma on a uh, few of the pathogen where this uh, more model uh, represents the trichoderma say for example you can see the trichoderma species and other pathogen uh, uh, how actually it destroy trichoderma species either by producing various enzymes you can see the enzymes which are produced by this trichoderma the enzymes are from different uh, colors and uh, symbols they are please go through that chitinase glucanase xylase proteinase where this enzymes have been produced by this trichoderma where these enzyme reacts on the on the chitin or on glucan or on xylene or on the proteins which are present in the in the pathogen pathogen and try to destroy them that is by producing various lytic enzyme as we studied the uh, mode of action is by producing uh, with a certain toxic substance 
they are the toxic substance can also be the substance like LL sorry LAAOs which induces oxidative stress on the pathogen and kills them and also they produces various hydro uh, uh, certain uh, hydrolyzing or high, uh, enzymes which are involved in the process of lysis of the host that is this uh, particular uh, trichoderma either by produce creating an oxidative stress or by uh, mycoparasitism that is by producing various uh, enzyme they get parasitized that is this enzyme reacts on the cell wall and the cytoplasmic content in the uh, in the pathogen and uh, try to absorb the nutrition from the uh, parasite and try to destroy or from the pathogen and try to destroy them and at the same time uh, they also produces certain uh, proteins uh, that is uh, uh, they produce various uh, defense molecules or the proteins they produce that is called as EPL1 they produce plant defense elicitation EPL1 where even this because of the production of this EPL that is the protein which induces resistance towards the plant diseasing plant disease causing pathogen it also triggers the defense reaction in the plant that is the trichoderma species uh, also that is it triggers the production of the various uh, pathogenesis related proteins that is it can be either various enzymes or it can be either um, uh, phytoelicitors it can produce where these are involved in the host defense so overall the trichoderma species either by the process of mycoparasitism by producing various antibiotics or by producing various hydrolyzing enzymes or by creating oxidative stress or by uh, uh, producing EPL1 protein where the CPL1 protein is responsible for the for in inducing the resistance towards the plant pathogen which causes diseases in plants and also it is involved in triggering the defense reaction in the plants where in which the plants could have an ability of uh, producing various defense molecules like uh, uh, PR proteins or uh, phytoelicitors or phytoalexins etc. So these uh, this is how the uh, trichoderma acts on the the pathogen and try to kill them then coming to the application of this trichoderma so once the trichoderma has been mass produced and once it is ready how actually it is applied onto the field as we have studied here by seed treatment mix 6 to 10 kg of trichoderma powder per kg of seed before sowing nursery treatment applying 10 to 25 kgs of trichoderma powder per 100 meter square of nursery application of neem cake and farmyard manure before treatment increases the efficiency that we have to remember cutting and seed seedling root dip that is seedling treatment Mix 10 kg of trichoderma powder along with 10 grams of well rotten farmyard manure per liter of water and dip the cutting and the seedling for 10 minutes before planting. That is how the seedling treatment has been done. Soil treatment that is mixing 1 kg of trichoderma formulation in 100 kg of farmyard manure and cover it for 7 days with polythene and uh, spiking the heap with water intermediately. Turn the mixture every 34 days intervals and then broadcast into the field. That is here we are using farmyard manure and trichoderma formulation we are applying. The main thing is we have to mix it and keep it for 3 to 4 days is so that the trichoderma spores which we have been produced in this formulation start germinating and the number of 
counts of this trichoderma or the uh, the trichoderma count increases in this uh, soil that is in uh, farmyard manure later once it has been done you can just broadcast onto the field you are allowing the spores to germinate and to form the mycelium to increase the number of cells so that is what we are doing over here then plant treatment drench the soil near the stem region with 10 gram of trichoderma powder mix it in liter of water so just take this trichoderma powder mix it in one liter of water 10 grams of trichoderma powder mix it with water and you just make a drench near the at the base of the plant and pour it in that region that's called as plant treatment so this is how the application of trichoderma has been done and these are the table this is the table which represents the fungal bio agents of various plant pathogens in india these are the uh, different species of trichoderma which have been uh, produced uh, trichoderma biopesticide has been produced over different crops and different uh, pathogen extensively used one are trichoderma harisianum trichoderma veridae towards uh, botrytis species cercospora species ustilaga pythium phytophthora fusarium microphomia etc so these are some of the commercial formulations of biocontrol agents available in india uh, say for example uh, antagon tv this is a preparation made up of trichoderma veridae which has been extensively used in uh, controlling rhizocotania solani and uh, various uh, 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 pathogen which causes diseases in pulse and vegetables which can be used as seed or soil treatment likewise we have biocon bioderma biogard Bioderma is a combination of Trichoderma viridae and Trichoderma harisianum, which has been extensively used as a, a soil treatment or a seed treatment or a seedling treatment, foliar spray, which causes uh, diseases against fungal pathogen, which causes diseases in vegetables, pulses, cereals, and in uh, sugar crops. Likewise, we have BioGuard made up of Trichoderma viridae. You have BioShield, remember. BioShield is one of the preparation made up of uh, the bioagent called as Pseudomonas fluorescens. And likewise, you have BioTalk made up of Bio Bacillus subtilis. Uh, and we have uh, Defense SF made up of Trichoderma viridae, where this formulation can be used in uh, seed as well as seed treatment, soil treatment uh, against various seed and soil borne diseases of the crops. So these are some of the commercial formulations which of biocontrol agents which have been extensively produced uh, in India and it is available in India. So what are the benefits of trichoderma? One thing is to control various diseases, the pathogen which cause the diseases in plants, uh, especially the fungi which belongs to the genera such as Fusarium, Phytophthora, Sclerotia, uh, etc. And also, this trichoderma can be used as plant growth promoter, as I was discussing it before also, PGPR, plant growth promoter. This trichoderma species has an ability of solubilizing the phosphates and the micronutrients. The application of trichoderma strains with plant increases the number of deep roots thereby increase the plant's ability to resist towards the drought. Transgenic plants, introduction of endocutinase, sorry, chitinase, endochitinase genes from trichoderma into the plants such as tobacco and potato plants has increased the resistance to fungal growth. Selected transgenic lines are highly tolerant to foliar uh, pathogens such as alternaria alternata, alternaria solani, botrytis as well as some of the soil borne uh, pathogens such as rhizocotania species. That is the genes which is involved in the production of chitinase enzyme has been isolated from trichoderma and it has been integrated into the genome of certain plants such, uh, which so that the plants also has an ability of producing this chitinase where this enzyme reacts on an on chitin which is one of the important ingredients of the cell wall of 
the fungi and try to destroy them. That is what this transgenic plants does. Bioremediation. Trichoderma strains plays an important role in bioremediation of the soil that are contaminated with pesticides and herbicides. They have an ability to degrade wide range of insecticides, organochlorins, organophosphates as well as carbonates. So these are some of the benefits of trichoderma which has been extensively used to disease in disease control has been used as plant growth promoters and also the trichogenes of some of the trichoderma species also used in the production of some of the transgenic plants and also this trichoderma species are also involved in the process of bioremediation. And these are some of the examples of some of the en uh, entomogenous fungi which are used in uh, uh, bio which has been used as biocontrol agents. Here the tables uh, represents the insect pest on which these fungi are target on. The biocontrol agents, the dominant one, Bavaria, Bassiana, Hirsutella, Metarhizium species, Verticillum species. And uh, the registered uh, product and this has been extensively uh, produced in India, Britain, uh, USA, uh, China, France, Japan, etc. Thank you. Thank you for your patience to listen this particular video lecture. My next lecture is on viral pesticides. Thank you once again.